Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video of my new uh, Rainbow D4 SE. Uh, I was using it last night and I noticed a common problem with the power nozzle. Uh, let me try to take it over here and see if I can show you how it's not really picking up. Especially the way it should. So as you can see, it really wasn't picking up well at all. And it doesn't sound too terribly bad. But I quickly realized what it was because I've seen this several times with these uh, rainbows. You see it on the D3 style power nozzles and on uh, the SE style. And basically, what is happening is somebody did a belt change and they did not clip the base plate on this front lip, so it's this base plate is sticking way down. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed. These power nozzles are super easy to service. You only have two screws because it catches that lip in the front. And then you just work it down that it gets past the rear wheels and then you put these screws back in. This power nozzle is in good shape. Very nice and clean. I'm actually surprised the base plate was off of this vacuum. I would assume they probably would have did a belt change maybe. Okay. Belt's in pretty good shape. Everything looks very nice. Um, these vacuums are very simple to work on. And just pull a little bit of fuzz and hair out. Um, these, when you pull these end caps out, they are uh, they're tapered. The short side, the small side goes down in, and then it uh, wedges itself in with these little rubber insulators and then that base plate helps put pressure down to hold these in place as well so it makes it uh, pretty quiet and helps uh, deaden the sound of the power nozzle makes everything nice and quiet the way it should be so now I'm just trying to Sometimes you gotta just move the wheels that it gets past. And you can even just run your finger along the bumper and make sure you have it latched in place. And that's really all it is to it. And you see I had to kind of move the one wheel over just to get this plate past. And you don't know how many times I've seen this. Way too common on these. Okay. And you don't need to make these super tight. You're only going into a plastic housing. And they don't really... It's not that they really work loose on these or anything. 
what you'll feel when they bottom out. So there you go. That's back on. Let's take it over here and give it a try. It even sounds better when I set it down. But it's definitely something I see all too common with these. I don't know why people don't understand that you gotta catch that lip and you know when it vibrates and doesn't pick up you think it'd be a good indication you did something wrong there we go now won't look any better now Definitely work better on the rug outside. I think with the big air grooves on this base plate, it's not really sealing down and doing the best job of pulling stuff up. And these rugs are really hard to clean anyways. But it's definitely one thing to look at when you get one of these uh, used or it's yours isn't picking up quite the way it should. Just Give that base plate a check, make sure your belt's good, make sure your brush roll's in place. I uh, hope this video helps. Please like, comment, and subscribe.